Arfi Vartanian, Regional Director of the Armenian Assembly of America in Yerevan here, and I am here with Janae Knight. Um, Janae has been here since June. First time? No. Second time. <clears throat> she is from Michigan, which I really like because that's my home state as well, and she is double majoring in Cognitive Science and Armenian Studies. Uh, so she spoke a little bit of Armenian before she got here. Her Armenian has improved, and I think she's had an interesting experience here, but I want her to talk to you about it. So, Janae, welcome. I, I'm saying welcome, but I know if, I don't know if the viewers know, Janae is wrapping up her summer here, and she's going to be leaving next week to go back home because the program is ending. So, Janae, tell us, where did you intern? Uh, I interned... I interned with uh, an NGO called Oknushun, mm -hmm. which is a play on the words for help and sh uh, dog, Oknutun and Shun. Um, and I sort of just worked as the CEO and founders, kind of like her personal assistant, as well as um, I helped her train one of the dogs that we're planning on using for therapy. Mm -hmm. um, and Oknushun's main goal is to implement therapy dogs in Armenia. And that's a really impressive program, I think. It's only the second year. I know Nighty started at Oktushun last year, uh, but this is a pretty new concept for uh, the general public here. So it's not as easy as Janae made it sound, <laughs> I'm sure, um, but you can find information on Oktushun um, online on, the face on their Facebook page and follow that. Um, I hope you continue to keep in touch with, with Nighty and maybe spread the word so that that, um, that project can grow. Um, on weekends, I know during the week you also had a lot of fun, we'll get to that, but on weekends you also went on excursions with the Armenian Assembly of America. Tell me about that. I know you've been to Armenia before, but um, it's different every time you come and depending on who you go with. So where did you go? What did you like the best? Where would you want to go that maybe you didn't have a chance to go? What do you think? Um, so I actually did a uh, study abroad two weeks before this internship started. So I did a lot of things twice this summer. Um, and some of my favorite things were, uh, I mean, I really love Tatev, which I only got to do once. Um, and also uh, Artsakh, Nagorno-Karabakh, um, really beautiful country. And... Um, some of the things that I did twice that I really liked, uh, Nora Bank and uh, Hor Virab and... Did you go down into the pit twice? I have, yeah. <laughs> um, Do you know yeah. the story about Hor Virab? Yeah. If you could tell our viewers because I'm, I don't know that everybody knows what Hor Virab is. Uh, so Hor Virab is a monastery um, where there are two pits that you can like climb down into, and one of them is where uh, Grigor Lusavodic was kept for like 13 years. Um, and you can see, he prayed in the same spot every day, you can see his knee engravings in one of the uh, pits. So. Yeah. And so he was imprisoned there before he was known as Gregory the Illuminator. Um, but as a result of his being imprisoned there and finally rescued by the king, Jorka, he was considered Gregory the Illuminator because he brought the light of Christianity mm -hmm. to Armenia and Armenia became the first Christian nation in the world. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I just have to say, I commend Janae for climbing down and up that, uh, <laughs> that uh, pit. Twice, it's not easy to do. You gotta have a lot of upper arms with, so good for you. <laughs> okay, where else did you like to go and visit? Um, I mean, I've liked everywhere that I visited. Uh, Gyumri was fun. Um, Garni and Gekhar are closer, but are still nice places to visit. Uh, I mean, even in Yerevan, uh, like visiting Vernissage is fun, mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. the Genocide Museum, things like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the Genocide Museum um, is, has been 
renovated and updated since last time you were here. Is that correct? We actually didn't get to go last time um, because our cab driver dropped us off really far away and my grandma was with us, so we couldn't walk up there. Gotcha, so. gotcha. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so in the evenings, during your free time, after your work day was done um, and you had some free time, what did you like to do? Uh, I hung out with my roommate Lillian <laughs> a lot. Uh, We'd get dinner, go up the Cascade, um, go to Republic Square. There's a lot to do at night, even if you're just walking around. There's a lot of people out, there's a lot of activity. Uh, no matter what day, even on like Sunday night, there's always something to do. Okay, all right. Is there anything you'd like to add? I don't think so. <laughs> all right. Um, then one more question from me about the program. Um, I don't know if all of you know this, I know this, and I'm going to brag about it because I like Janae's big sister, Bryn. She was my intern here 10 years ago. 11, yeah. 11 already. Oh my gosh. Um, and so hello to Bryn. Shout out to her. And I met your parents and your cousin who are also here visiting, visiting you. And that's really wonderful. I'm glad that they came and got a chance to be here while you were here. Mm -hmm. um, I hope you like the program as much as Bryn did. Um, and I hope that you'll come back to Armenia and visit us and keep in touch with us. Definitely. Okay. All right, then. Then I want to say, Araisho. <laughs> okay, so long. Uh. In Armenia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye-bye.